Yes, I got a house. Hello guys, my name is Doc and this, this is the studio. My studio. The studio that I want to leave. I got this studio about two years ago and every single part of this studio has been built to serve me well. Every single part of this studio was designed to create YouTube videos and art. There are multiple smart solutions and hacks over here. If you want to see all of them, check the tour of this studio over here. I have to say that I love this studio, except few things. It's quite far away from my home. With all these Chinese stores around this place and all these weird people, it is not so creative environment. To be honest, I wouldn't mind the first two, but the point number three is quite crucial. The problem is over here, the spray paint. You know, I would love to paint canvases and small media with spray paint over here, but I can't. The problem is that if you use any kind of a spray paint in a room like this, the whole place will be covered with dust. I was thinking about renting another room like this right next to this one, but it would be quite expensive for me and it wouldn't solve my overall not so awesome feeling about this place. So instead of renting another room like this, I got something different. house if, if I can call it a, a house this is the place where I want to move my studio this is this is a building where I want to build insanely awesome art studio with everything what you could even everything what I've ever wanted as an artist I want to have it in this building in this video I want to take you for a tour of this place I want to show you everything what's what's in here. I want to encourage you to pay attention during the tour because at the end I will ask you for suggestions. So if you get some idea during the tour, for example, oh yeah, this room, it might be this, let me know in the comments below, okay? Shall we begin with the tour? First of all, we have the garden over here, the garage, and the house. So this is the place where you enter. On the left side, you have the garage, I'll show you what I mean by that later. And on the right side, we have the house also with. As we continue this way along the garage and the house, we are getting to the garden. The garden is quite big. Um, I'm pretty sure that Snow is gonna love this place a lot. We got a grill party spot, except there is no party, just the grill. Then we got a lawn, uh, which kind of, it misses grass, but what do you want? It's winter time. We got the tree. He doesn't have a name yet. We got a on the garage situation, few flowers situation, another tree without a name situation, old tree without a name situation, and pre-terrace situation. Just the garden itself is, is quite big. And some of you might say that you don't need a garden for our studio. That's true. But I'll be sharing this place and I will tell you more about that a little bit later in the video. We also have a on the garage trash spot, behind the garage leather spot and pre-house spot with falling stairs situation. More about that a little bit later as well. So that was the garden before we enter the garage, I would like to say that everything in this place is in the original shape. It was like this when I got the keys from this place. I didn't modify anything over here and the people who were living here before, they left a lot of stuff over here. So don't be surprised if we find some maybe strange things. So right now we are starting the second part of the tour, the garage, which as you can see, isn't in the best shape, but I'm so excited about this place. I will tell you why in a second. I have to say that it is a little bit scary over here. I would say that this garage is just as big as my current studio, but there are some problems. Just as the fact that there are no lights or electricity over here, and the doors are... When I first came here, 
this garage immediately took my attention. First of all, because of the fact that it looks that it's gonna fall apart any minute. But second of all, because I immediately imagined that this is the place that I really need to have. Just as I said in the beginning, I wanted to rent another room next to my studio for spray paint projects because of the dust. This is exactly what I was talking about. It's just few meters away from the house and it's in a perfect spot for a spray paint project. In all the horror movies there are crates like this and they open them and something bad happens. So let's open this one. Are you ready? Whoa! More trash! Yeah, but wait. I gotta use for this. Right now we are leaving the garage. And we are getting to the main point of this place. The house. The house has three floors and three terraces. Floor number one, floor number two, and floor number three. Terrace number one, terrace number two, and terrace number three. We will start from the bottom. This is the terrace number one, the garden terrace. I just can't wait to drink my coffee over here. Except the terrace construction itself is rather unusual. There's a hole over there. I don't really get these doors over here because you can like, you know, just go around them. But they are here. From the garden terrace, we are getting to the floor number one. I would like to warn you that the inside of the building looks more like a squat or abundant building. Anyways, welcome. I don't speak Hungarian and there is some spider shit over here. So as you probably noticed, this is a kitchen and there is a lot of mess over here. Like there is something everywhere. Whoa. From the kitchen we are getting to the second room on floor number one. The second room over here was probably something like a dining room or something. They were probably eating over here. As you can see, there is also this heater for, for wood, which, which is getting me to the thing that there is no heating in this, in this place. Well, actually there is this, the old school way, but there are no radiators. The floor number one has one more room, which is... No, there are no witches, but which is... A toilet! So yeah, this was the floor number one, the toilet, the room number two and the kitchen. If you expected I will tell you some plans for this place, uh, there are none yet. I'm just showing you what we, what we got over here. Let's get to the floor number two. If I want to get from the floor number one to the floor number two, I have to go outside. There are there are no stairs inside. As I can see, kitties are having fun over here. That's gonna end when snow comes. So we are entering something what I call the hall. This is like a little room in front of um, the second floor. These, whoa! Jesus Christ. And over here, there are stairs to the third floor. The first impression when you come to the hall is not so good. Dirt everywhere, weird sounds as well. Anyways, let's enter the floor number two. Wow. Okay, that was, that was cringy, I'm sorry. Floor 
number two is the most interesting floor for me if we want to talk about the studio because we enter from the small hall and we got something like the second hall over here which leads into the bathroom there is this piece of furniture that doesn't really i have no idea why it is over here because you know this is this is for water but there is no water over here and right now we are entering the bathroom which seems quite okay to me there is a toilet water a shower that looks dirty but okay i would say through the hall we are getting to another room or actually two rooms this place over here this is or it, it was it was something like a living room there is this couch a table right in front of the living room there is um there is there is a bedroom i don't really feel comfortable having this here because you know there are people living here and it's just like I think that this living room and the bedroom they would be in combination together they would be a great spot for the studio what do you think let me know in the comments below and from the living room we are getting to the terrace number two what the hell is that ah oh, yummy little bucks This is the terrace. I don't really want to show you the wheel, but yeah, this is the terrace number one from above. As you can see, it doesn't really look. <clears throat> but during summer, hell yeah. You know, I'm not really sure what feeling do you have so far from this place, but I think that the floor number three will, um, let's see what, what's gonna happen <laughs> with the floor number three. We are getting to the small hall. And from small hall we are getting to the stairs which are a little bit nah they, they, they seem that they are falling but I think that they are okay they are just a little bit out of their space okay the floor number three if you expect the same stuff as before no no this is something this floor the floor number three is unlike the previous floors it's in a i would say perfect shape except there are no lights over here or there are no bulbs in these lights otherwise they work there is this beautiful wood everywhere we even got this bar table over here which is super super awesome oh hello would you like to drink something and for sure we got terrace number three The view from this terrace is just wunderbar. Yeah, that, that's the right word. So, this is the place. Right now it's time to show a little bit more details with you. I should mention that I didn't buy this place. I will be renting this place and I will be sharing this place with my family. You know, they will sometimes come, drink a coffee, maybe they will plant some vegetables in the garden. Not a big deal. Which means that I have a full creative freedom over here. I can do whatever comes to my mind or your mind. You know, I started the new project, the art story, the show about creation. And I want to turn this place into something like a creative factory, insane art studio. <laughs> you know what I mean and you have seen it all so right now it comes time for you to let me know in the comments below if you have some ideas garden garage floor number one two and three what would you do over here let me know down there I'm really looking forward to your ideas and don't forget to subscribe 
because the art story is just it's just starting i see this place as the first big art story project there's a ton ton of work over here i can't really move right away over here i will need to stay in my current studio for a while but i want to share the creation of this place with you i want you to create this place with me so guys share your ideas for this place in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching and see you next Ta